Opening with the topic of animals capable of subduing a tiger, we embark on a thrilling and challenging reality. In the natural world, the tiger is renowned as one of the most cunning predators, with its sheer strength and agility. However, there are other species, albeit less common, that still possess the ability to confront and even defeat a tiger in certain circumstances. Each species has its own characteristics and advantages, making them formidable opponents for the king of the jungle. Let's explore these animals and how they can challenge one of the fiercest creatures on Earth. The tiger panther or tigris is one of the largest and most powerful carnivores in the world. Tigers are widely distributed from the far east of Russia, China, and South Asia to Southeast Asian countries like India and extending to Southeast Asian nations such as Indonesia. They inhabit various environments including tropical rainforests, grasslands, and even wetland areas like riverine plains. Tigers have robust bodies, showcasing strength and agility. Male tigers are typically larger than females. Their fur coloration ranges from shades of orange to pale yellow, with dense black stripes and white spots on their bodies. Male tigers weigh on average between 180 to 258 kilograms for 100 to 570 pounds, while females weigh between 100 to 160 kilograms 220 to 350 pounds. And now, let's take a look at the animals that can pose a threat to the lord of the jungle. Top 6 Wild Water Buffalo The Wild Water Buffalo, also known as the Asian Buffalo or Indian Buffalo Bubilis arni, is a mammal species in the Bovidae family. They are large-sized buffaloes commonly found in wetland areas such as marshes, swamps, and riverine plains across Asia, the wild water buffalo is widely distributed from India to Southeast Asia. They are large in size, with weights typically ranging from 700 to 1,200 kilograms and heights reaching 1.5 to 2 meters. Their dark-colored skin is covered with a thick layer of oily mud, which helps them resist water absorption. Wild water buffaloes are well adapted to wetland environments, thriving in waterlogged areas up to 1.5 meters deep, and even brackish water. They primarily feed on grass and shrubs in aquatic environments and seek quiet resting spots on higher ground. Wild water buffaloes often travel in small herds led by a dominant male. They usually breed during the rainy season, giving birth to one calf after a gestation period of about 10 to 11 months. Wild water buffaloes have a complex relationship with humans. While they make us damage to farms and crops, they also play a crucial role in the ecology of wetland environments by maintaining dense vegetation growth and protecting habitats for other species. The water buffalo is larger and heavier than the tiger, Weighing from 600 to 1,200 kilograms, 1,300 to 2,600 pounds. It is no secret that water buffaloes are aggressive animals and will not hesitate to attack anything they perceive as a threat. Bengal tigers can ambush these buffaloes because they have very strong jaws and for long canine teeth that can subdue a buffalo. However, two water buffaloes can kill a tiger. If ambushed improperly, the buffalo may chase the tiger away, although the buffalo does not always have the advantage. Top 5. Grizzly Bear The grizzly bear is widely distributed across the world, from the Arctic to high mountain regions, primeval forests, and even plains and grasslands. They adapt to various habitats, from damp temperate forests to arid landscapes. In pristine environments, they prefer living in pine forests, oak forests, and coniferous forests. The North American grizzly bear is one of the largest bear species, with an average weight ranging from 90 to 780 kilograms and a body length from 1.42 to 0.8 meters. They have a thick fur coat that protects them from the cold in harsh environments. The color of their fur can vary from dark brown to silvery gray, with possible white or brown spots on their back. North American grizzly bear have large heads, wide muzzles, and small ears. They are omnivorous, consuming a variety of foods from grass, roots, fruits, and insects to small animals and fish. 
Their diet mainly depends on the season and geographical region. In summer, they prefer fruits, grass, and insects, while in winter, they favor fatty foods like salmon, seafood, and meat. It's easy to understand why North American grizzly bear can overpower tigers due to their strength and size advantage. A male North American brown bear can weigh up to 400 kilograms, even exceeding 780 kilograms when food is abundant. In Russia, conflicts between North American grizzly bear and Siberian tigers occur, with tigers even hunting bears, which account for 1.4% of their diet. Large bears can also engage in conflicts with tigers and attempt to steal their food. In one study, 34 direct confrontations between the two predator species were observed, with bears being killed in 22 and tigers 12 cases, respectively. This indicates that if a bear feels threatened, it will not hesitate to defend itself and may even overpower a tiger, although it's not an easy feat. Top 4 Bull The Indian Gaur, also known as the Bengal Gaur Bosgorus, is a large wild bovine species primarily found in South Asia. The Indian Gaur is mainly distributed in South Asia including India, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh, Myanmar, with some small populations in China and Southeast Asia. They inhabit tropical forests, wet evergreen forests, grassland areas, and mountainous regions where water and food are abundant. The Indian Gaur is the largest bovine species in the Bos family. They measure from 2.5 to 3.3 meters in length and stand, from 1.5 to 1.8 meters at the shoulder. The fur of the Indian Gaur is usually gray or dark brown with scattered white stripes and spots on the body. A distinctive feature of the Indian Gaur is its large curved horns, which can reach lengths of 60 to 80 centimeters, used for defense and territorial disputes. Indian Gaurs are herbivores, primarily feeding on grass, leaves, and other vegetation in forests and grasslands. They often move within forested areas to search for food and regularly visit grassy areas and water bodies to drink. Indian gores usually live alone or in small groups, often composed of females and juveniles. The gestation period of Indian gores is about nine months, with calves usually born from April to June. Indian gores have a habit of fleeing when encountering danger, but in confrontational situations, they can become aggressive and dangerous. The Indian Gaur resembles the water buffalo, but I find them even more intimidating because they are the largest bovine species in the world. A male Indian Gaur can weigh from 1 to 1.5 tons. They have massive muscles and are known to be quite aggressive towards invaders. Of course, when these invaders clash with tigers, it's not always the tiger that emerges victorious. Top 3 Saltwater Crocodile Saltwater crocodiles typically inhabit estuaries, lagoons, or mangrove swamps. They prefer living in brackish water, hence are often found in coastal lowlands, wetlands, and large lake areas. Their primary habitat is freshwater areas near the sea, but they can also adapt to brackish water environments such as estuaries and large lakes. Saltwater crocodiles are large crocodile species with a robust and muscular build. They have gray or greenish scales, often with white or brown spots and stripes. Saltwater crocodiles have large heads, long snouts, and sharp teeth, characteristic of crocodile species. They are one of the largest crocodile species, reaching lengths of up to 6 to 7 meters and weights of up to 1.5 tons. Their gray or greenish skin with white or brown stripes helps them blend into the saltwater environment. Saltwater crocodiles typically live alone and are extremely aggressive and dangerous species. They often move swiftly and lurk in the water, waiting for potential prey to approach before attacking. The gestation period of saltwater crocodiles lasts about 80 to 90 days, and mothers usually lay 40 to 60 eggs in a nest. After hatching, the mother will care for and protect the hatchlings in their early stages of life. Crocodiles are known for their swimming prowess, and guess which other animal enjoys swimming? You guessed it, the tiger. Bengal tigers have encountered two species of crocodiles in their habitats, the mugger crocodile and the saltwater crocodile. 
Mugger crocodiles are smaller and comparable in size to a tiger. However, saltwater crocodiles are the largest crocodile species in the world. Some of the largest males can exceed 6 meters in length and weigh over 1 ton. Crocodiles are apex predators underwater and once they catch a tiger, the cat is virtually doomed. Being bitten by a crocodile, a tiger will eventually die. While the tiger may be the king of the Indian jungle, the crocodile is the king of the Indian waters, and in a confrontation, the tiger can only flee. Top 2. Rhinoceros Rhinoceroses are primarily distributed in the pristine forest and wetlands of Asia and Africa. In Asia, they inhabit countries such as India, Nepal, Bhutan, Myanmar, Thailand, Malaysia, Indonesia, and Vietnam. Meanwhile, in Africa, they are found in countries such as South Africa, Zimbabwe, Kenya, Tanzania, and Mozambique. Rhinoceroses prefer living in environments such as rainforests, as well as grasslands and wetlands. Rhinoceroses are among the largest land animals, with massive bodies and somewhat stout shapes. They have large heads, rounded snouts, and narrow mouths. Their thick, rugged skin is typically gray or green, helping protect them from predators and other environmental factors. Weight average from 1.5 to 2.5 tons. Length ranges from 3.5 to 4.5 meters. Rhinoceroses are herbivorous animals, primarily feeding on grass, leaves, and other vegetation in their habitat. They have a habit of continuous feeding throughout the day and often use their large and powerful mouths to bite and chew food. Rhinoceroses often live alone or in small groups. They are usually active during the morning and evening and rest during midday. The gestation period of rhinoceroses typically lasts from 14 to 18 months, after which the mother rhinoceros gives birth to a calf. The calf is then nurtured and protected by the mother for a long period. Rhinoceroses are very large and will not hesitate to defeat a tiger that is attacking them. Tigers quickly realize that hunting these animals is too dangerous and resort to them only as a last resort, sometimes targeting only the young, injured, or weak individuals. When a tiger attacks a rhinoceros, the rhinoceros's tough skin and sharp horns make it easy to defeat and kill the tiger. Top 1 Elephant This creature needs no explanation, much larger than a tiger. The Asian elephant is a favored animal species inhabiting wet tropical forests and wetlands. They are primarily distributed in South Asia and Southeast Asia, with smaller sizes compared to African elephants. On average, they stand between 2.5 to 3 meters tall and weigh from 2,000 to 5,000 kilograms. The prominent features of Asian elephants include their long trunk, large tusks, and big ears. The color of their skin can vary from gray to brown depending on the specific habitat and individual appearance. Asian elephants are herbivorous animals, mainly consuming grass, leaves, branches, fruits, and other vegetation. They can consume up to 150 kilograms of food per day. Asian elephants often use their long trunks to pull out grass and leaves, as well as to dig out roots and fruits from trees. They usually live in family herds, which typically include a bull, one or more females, and their calves. This enhances protection and care for the young and promotes cooperation in finding food and protecting the herd. The gestation period of Asian elephants lasts from 18 to 22 months, after which the mother gives birth to a calf. The calf continues to be cared for and protected by the mother and other members of the herd during its early life. They possess a powerful trunk and, if male, a pair of strong and sharp tusks. With up to 40,000 muscles, one blow could be fatal, so tigers rarely dare to approach these elephants. Adult elephants have virtually no predators, but tigers seldom engage in combat with them. Tigers are too fearful to attack them, and in any situation, elephants always maintain their dominance. Although tigers are among the most renowned and powerful predators on land, there are still other species capable of confronting and even defeating them in certain circumstances. 
However, defeating a tiger is not always a goal or action sought by other species in the natural world. Each species typically has its own role and position in the food chain and ecosystem. Competition between species often occurs naturally and typically ends with one of the parties escaping or avoiding each other to prevent conflict. This is where our video concludes. If you found the video informative or enjoyable, please consider giving us a like, sharing it, and subscribing to our channel. And now, we look forward to seeing you again in the next video.